Okay, okay, no more distractions. Let's finally make a thing in Minecraft. I've got a ton of resources. I am a little disappointed, though, because you cannot use cobble deep slate to make a piston. So I had to go out and get some cobblestone. Well, that's not the recipe anyways. So I had to go out and get some cobblestone, but... Yeah, that's, that's big sad right there. However, we can make a couple of things like this. I don't know how many pistons I need. I don't know how big this farm is going to initially be. 17 pistons seems like a decent starting point, even though we can make much, much more than that. And then same thing on the observers. Let's make... Technically, we'll, we need half, but let's go and do this. And I'm going to be making a melon farm of some kind. And I think, like, we just have everything kinda and it's going to come together in a pretty good way so i don't think i need to like it's the question is do i big do i build it up or do i dig it down i just like already filled this in but digging it down might actually look a little prettier so i guess we'll just kind of fill in as we go so we need this here that's i guess it goes the other way uh what what if you do shift click okay yeah because that's the redstone output so, what happens if you just jump and put it down? Nope, and then it puts it straight down. Alright, boys. This is scuffed. But the observer is going to make our life pretty easy for this. So, yeah, we go one. The hell? There. Okay, so you have to put it, like, at the edge. Actually, and then you don't even need it spaced like that. Alright, so that's going to be the first one, since this is super scuffed. That'll measure, and then put out here. And then... We do something like that. Cool. This can go there. I'm pretty sure this becomes all redstone powered. Also, I screwed up two. How? Slight frustrations. We'll get over them. I guess when you don't have a wrench, you kind of have to make it to where things are like this. Sometimes if we put a piston here and then we put a block here. All right. Now, sometimes if we put a piston here. We do the observer thing here. Alright, so it does put out through the back, which means we will maybe have to figure out the redstone a bit more. Or else they might interfere with each other. I thought I was going to be slick, guys. I had this idea in my head, and it was going to be so cool. Now, the pumpkins, do they just grow onto anything? Is another question. If not, then we're going to have to replace all this with dirt, and it's going to be slightly annoying. Okay, I am I am much more underprepared than I thought I was. Yeah, I'm also pretty sure that pumpkins really only grow on dirt. Because I kind of built out the rest of it. I'm like, well, if a pumpkin were to grow, it would have grown by now. Maybe it just doesn't like, like, tough or a couple of other different blocks. So, let's do that. I just don't like harvesting dirt, so I wanted to go out and preserve as much dirt as I could. But, whatever. So put that that down there. We have these grown. We get some pumpkins going. We can't forget about these ones. Also, I guess the redstone doesn't really matter because, you know, the it's going to update regardless of what happens. And then it's just going to send a pulse. And if there's any pumpkins, they'll get pushed. So maybe that doesn't really affect anything. Now, the question comes down to how we utilize the water streams... And it's also kind of funny, because I guess I could have just built this from the ground up and not had to fill in any of the water. Alright, so we got all that. Let's go and do a lower layer of tough. Oh man, this is just prime Minecraft content right now. Doing the most basic of scuffed building as we kind of go and get our stuff set up. So we'll do this. And then... Oh... What happened? Oh, a pumpkin grew. And then it didn't get pushed all the way. Because it do be like that. So if we got that. We do a double. That pushes it all the way out here. Then that means we gotta go one more down. Oh, there we go. But I guess they can kind of like pick each other up. So maybe it is good that all of the pistons push or something. And then we kind of made this one too far. I guess if you wanted to, you could just do it uh, this many. One, like, three observers and, like, stack it infinitely high. Yo, we're getting pumpkins all the time now! What? Alright. Alright, so yeah, you do need a dirt block. Comments are already way ahead of me on that. I wonder if that's what we do. We just make it, like, this big. And then we stack it up. 
And I like that a bit more. Because that just seems like it lines up. Then we don't have to worry about any messy, like, double water shenanigans. Uh, we did waste some bone meal here, but oh well. Technically, I guess we could have kept that one and then still have it push with this. And then it would just eventually catch and then fall straight into the hopper, maybe. It is, like, soft efficiency, because we wouldn't need an observer for it. We would just need this piston here, and then... No, it wouldn't push, because, like, that's where it ends. Okay. I'm, I'm just thinking out loud, boys, as I'm kind of already like, Ooh, it's working! That's always the best part of a Minecraft build, when it all comes together, and it's like, Yo, I made a thing, and this thing's actually pretty sweet. So... Uh... Trying to like fit. I'm. I'm just. This just looks awful because I can't even ba place uh, basic blocks down. So now we need to make a hopper. Actually, we need to make a couple of hoppers. I don't think it needs to even be too too wide on the water, but I'm just doing that to be safe. So let's make that, and then we'll make this. Four hoppers. You can never have enough hoppers, like... Oh, except when you accidentally use up all your chests, so you need to store the items. That's a problem. You can also never have too many chests. So... Plan is we go this. Another one. Let's go. There's my hoppers. And we're done. Maybe just kind of like fill it in and make it a bit more secure so things don't go like flying off to the side. So something like that. And that that's it, right? We made a pumpkin farm that's automatic and super cheap and super easy. And now it's just going to pop off and we can find a way of stacking it to where it all just keeps on falling in. Which actually means we don't even need to like waste extra hoppers... And if anything, it's just going to come down to, like, needing crazy amounts of chests when these start filling up. Alright. And then we're going to have enough for villager trading. And then we can put the villager right by the farm. And then it all comes together. And that's why I like Minecraft. When you start optimizing things like that. So we got our first junky little farm going. Okay, so after a quick reset, I think I have a game plan. Also, all the cool kids are using, like, carve... Wait, you get seeds from that? That's actually pretty sick. I just knew about, like, the pumpkin carving, because that's kind of, like, a new weird thing. But all the cool kids are using jack-o'-lanterns to light up their projects, because that actually just makes a lot of sense. It's a pretty good light block, especially if you don't want to waste glowstone or something on it. Now, I just don't know... Ooh, and we're getting more pumpkins. We're the best place to put them would be to make sure everything grows. Now also since we're doing tiered, like we can put some here and then alternate them here and then stuff like that. So maybe that's what we wanna go for. Actually, I think it, maybe that's better if we're gonna be alternating. So yeah, we put there and the water can just flow over them and that's all nice and cool. Put some tough back down over there. And then now we need to figure out the best way of building this. Because it doesn't just like, oh, we straight hard stack it on top of each other. Or do we? So if we do this. And then like, do we just fill it in from here? And does that... I, I think the pumpkin won't generate unless there's air block over it. So that means we actually fill it in from here. And then that's where we can put the other uh, pumpkin blocks. Maybe. So yeah, I want to kind of just make the second tier. Just to show I have the slightest idea what I'm doing and then maybe it kind of works out and that's really neat. God, this is gonna be so ugly with the tough though. Uh, could use some of the cobbled deep slate. Even though this is gonna be on the inside now. So yeah, I think now this is like our new base layer and this is where the water is gonna run so then everything's gonna be one block above that. Which actually means we could get away with something better. Actually, I think I have a better idea. Because we can technically drop everything one here for the water. So, like, this is where the water stream is going to start. 
But then we can leave the air gaps for the pumpkins, and I think that's actually going to compact it pretty well until something goes terribly, terribly wrong. So it's actually going to look like this. And then we have the second water stream kind of making it claustrophobic. And unless that actually like interferes with the pumpkin pushing on a tragic level, I think we can like super duper compact it. And then my friends are going to get mad at me and be the ugly police because this is not going to look like the prettiest Minecraft build. And then, because of that, like I said, we can replace, I believe, these ones with more jack-o'-lanterns. Like so. And then we can still run the water stream and everything's gonna be all nice and good. And now we have, like, too many pumpkin seeds. So, we still want this one to have... This is where the water begins, so yeah. Air gap. Closed. Water. And then... Since this is the next layer, this is actually all gonna be dirt. So, I don't know why we're filling it in <laughs> with all the cobble when this actually needs to be dirt. I'm just kinda like using the cobble to help map it out mentally for me. Apparently, I'm having a difficult time figuring this out. And then it should be okay until like we turn around one day and it's just packed with uh, items that aren't getting pushed off. So we did grab some dirt. So it's really just all the outside stuff that's going to be cosmetic. Which actually wouldn't be hard to replace all the tufts. So I mean we do this. And I think we're creating a pretty decent template. So now everything else is going to rest on here. The water is going to be kind of weird. The water might be a problem unless we put it on the corners, which we can. Like, water source goes here, and then... No, it yeah, it can, because this is actually the drop-off, and then this is the water, and then... I think we can get away with that. And then we can do the same over here. And that should be able to fill in all the uh, needed farmland. I ran out of cobbled deep slate. But yeah, I think this is gonna this is gonna compact it pretty well and work out really nice. I think I'm just gonna make it, gotta tear down all the tough and then like replace it with the deep slate. We might have something here. It might actually be cool in the end. Alright boys, I think it's working, so I'm starting on the third layer now, um, I guess I have enough resources, but I kind of feel like I don't a little bit. It's mostly about the, uh, deep slated cobble, since I've been using a lot of it to build this, but it's really starting to come together, it's pretty cool. Just kind of wanted to get the groundwork for the, uh, other layer coming in. I think I can just be lazy and put a little bit tough there, it'll kind of break everything up and make it all look nice. But I just kind of want to have a little bit of placeholder -y stuff going on, so yeah. It's coming together. It's looking pretty cool. Take a peek down here. It doesn't seem like there's any pumpkins that are permanently caught. And in that time, we've been getting more and more pumpkins. Now, now the second layer doesn't have any bone meal on it. But eventually everything will grow. And I'm thinking there's not going to be any problems. And yeah, this is like infinitely stackable. We could have some kind of monument to pumpkins at some point. So that's just going to take like a lot of garbage resources. Now, overall, the design doesn't look too terrible. So, yeah. Uh, we we made a thing, and now this is going to be just kicking it in the background. And then we'll just turn around and be like, Yo, we got like five stacks of pumpkins. Time to make the villager farm. Or maybe we'll have five stacks of pumpkins by the time the villager farm is done. Um, also, it's pretty good to just be like permanently replanting all of the uh, wheat. Because whenever we want cow materials, we can just go and do that so yeah the beauty of having the beauty of just having everything getting worked up and set up so nicely hey look at that i don't have to worry about food for a while and if i need to be a leather baron we got it so i think that's gonna be a good spot to end oh man it was an entire episode for just a scuffed 
pumpkin farm. And eventually we could put like melons on top if we want to or need to. I'll get around to that at some point. But yeah, I think I think the best way of like, I go, maybe I did something like, maybe someone was like, ooh, I never thought about it that way. So I have like scuffed ingenuity. I understand enough about Minecraft to make it work, but sometimes I just like boomer out super hard and I do like three dumb things until I stumble into brilliance. Okay, I think we're gonna be wrapping this one up pretty good. So as you can see, we're kind of getting high up here. So this is gonna be layer six and it's going to go pumpkin, 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 melon, melon, and then half melon, half pumpkin. And I think I kind of have it down to a science at this point. Uh, I've just been kind of clearing it out really well. I went back to the quiet keyboard, so I might be a little slower now because again, the layout's different than what I'm used to. But I've kind of kind of gotten it down, put this little extra block here and then we mine it out. And then that's going to be the observers. Then we go and rinse and repeat on the other side. So like, yeah, you get, eventually you just get the idea down, then you get pretty quick at it. I I underestimated the amount of cobbled deep slate I had because I just see like blocks in a chest. I'm like, yeah, all that's garbage. Oh, that's in a weird spot. So that's where we put the block and then yeah, it seems like it's all working. Unfortunately, I don't have enough bone meal, so it's going to take a little bit of extra time to get this all kickstarted and whatnot. Oh. But it should be pretty good in the end. And then... There's our deep slate. After that, we go fill this up. Then we put down the pistons. It is a little expensive. I guess that might be like a complaint that someone would have about this, but iron can be fortuned right now. And if you find like one iron vein and get lucky, then probably not gonna have to worry about iron for a while. So you can just build whatever you want. So we got that, and then that means all that's left is kind of filling it in with this for the redstone. And then tying it all together so it looks nice. I haven't dropped down in a while. I also don't remember if I go this far out. Okay, yeah, so we go there, we don't fill in the corner. That's what this looks like. So trying to keep it symmetrical as I build up is also a bit of a challenge. Yeah, so then we put this here. And then we just put blocks over top of it so nothing goes anywhere. And then I think it should be pretty good. Like the worst thing is if you just fill in a layer somewhere in the middle and you actually did it wrong. And then it's just like a useless layer with all that work you put into it. So we do that. Hit this. And then we just kind of encase it. Uh, technically could be open to the sky and not really matter up here I don't think the lighting is gonna be too far off yeah and then this all like by leaving this open we could just kind of continue it on and then maybe I must say maybe just start like okay there we go half fill the top in so we know that if we want to continue this is how it would be done Yeah, and I'll leave this open so that way these get light just in case these pumpkins don't reach or something weird. Cool, and now we get to jump down and see the payoff of our work. Eh? It's alright. Like, it's not the ugliest thing I built. Like, ah, it's a tower. But you can tell something's going on there. Let's see, how many pumpkins have we gotten? 39. Uh, uh oh. So, I don't know if this is a flaw with the... Oh, wait, never mind. If that pushed, that would be fine. I don't think this is a flaw with the design, because eventually they will get pushed off when something else grows. Uh, let's actually test that. We'll put a non-pumpkin item. It doesn't push here, though. Like, it's not 100% efficient, but I don't care about that. Again, it's just going to be running in the background. So, put that redstone there, and then we wait for the next thing to grow. And then if we find a redstone in there, we'll know that it, it'll grow before the uh, despawn timer. Same thing with that pumpkin up here everything else eventually we'll be getting melons but in the meantime to kind of fill that in planted a couple little melons over here and i guess i'll just afk for a while and see what the yield is looking like but i think that's going to be good for a while because eventually like you could spend tons of hours to make like the most efficient farm at, or like the most like you get 20 pumpkins a minute not even that 60 pumpkins a minute one pumpkin per second tower to god kind of pumpkin farm 
But then, like, you eventually end up with more pumpkins than you'll ever do anything with because you just stop doing something for, like, a half second. So, yeah, I think that's going to be good enough for pretty much all of our means. And unless we have, like, 50 villagers, you know, you won't be able to burn through all the villagers and their trades in a day. It is daytime, so we don't get to finish the day by sleeping. I'm just going to AFK, and then next episode, you're going to see what the uh, fruits of this labor will be. I'm thinking, all right, we got our first system in. Pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.